Once you've frozen an image, you can then add comments or make measurements. To make a measurement, either press caliper or calx, located to the left of the trackpad. For calipers, a set of calipers will appear on the screen. By moving your finger over the trackpad and pressing select, you can change the location of each caliper in turn. A measurement is displayed on the bottom left of the screen. To add in a second measurement, simply press caliper again. By using the soft keys on the left, you can also draw an ellipse or measure an area and circumference of a free hand shape. You can use the second rightmost soft key to delete your measurements one by one. Or if you unfreeze your image, all the measurements will go away and your image will be live again. Remember to save any measurements on your image before unfreezing if you would like to keep them. If you press calx when your screen is frozen, you can calculate the percentage difference between the area of two shapes or between the distance of two lines. Press calx, then use the select button to choose area one. Press select to place your first caliper, then trace around your tendon and press select again to place your second caliper. Next, press Save Calc, which is located to the right of the Select button. Move down to Area 2 and press Select. Again, press Select to place your first caliper, trace your lesion and press Select to place the second caliper. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the area of both traced areas and the percentage reduction between the first one and the second one. Then you can subtract the area reduction number from 100 to give you the percentage of the tendon which is damaged. You can delete each measurement one by one if, you had made, if you've made a mistake by pressing the second soft key from the right. There are a few different ways to add comments to a frozen image. First, press the text button located on the bottom left hand side of the keyboard. The first thing you can do is to move anywhere around the screen using the trackpad and then free type using letters on the keyboard. You can delete a letter at a time with the delete key on the top right of the keyboard or you can delete a word at a time using the second soft key in from the right. The third soft key in from the left is a quick way of attaching commonly used words. Press this once to go into the labels menu. We have three sets of common labels you can attach to the image. You can see here, we can run through the options. Again, we can either delete one letter at a time or one word at a time. You can also add in an arrow to your image. The arrow key is just to the left of the spacebar on the keyboard. Move your finger over the trackpad to change the location of your arrow and press select. Now, if you move your finger over the trackpad, it will change the orientation of your arrow. To get rid of the arrow, press the leftmost soft key to hide it. Again, remember to save any images with annotations before unfreezing the image. Remember that any measurements or annotations must be made at the time you save the image. You cannot go back to add annotations after the event. If you've made any measurements during your exam, you can make a patient report to show these measurements all together. During a live exam, press report located just above the patient button. The leftmost soft key lets you run through the pages. Press the save button on each page of your report. Then press the rightmost soft key when you're finished. 